Okay, so if you guys are excited about the leaf, you most likely have heard about this newfangled thing they got in here called the Pro Pilot Plus, something like that. Uh, and it is something along the lines of the Mercedes Distronic Plus. You and I drove that, what, four years ago now when the new or current S-Class just came out. And that, what was important there, was on a $100,000 car, and the S-Class has a tradition of debuting technology that then cascades down to other cars. Like, ABS started on an S-Class. Now it's on everything, including this car. Uh, so here, the system to engage it, I press this button here. Now I've got the Pro Pilot Plus on. And it's not like the Nissan engineers, man, they went on and on and on, as this is not autonomous driving. Do not think of it as autonomous driving. So for example, I'm driving here, and let's say I take my hands off the wheel. It doesn't keep me in the lane. It just makes that weird noise. So it's kind of giving you a warning. Really how to engage it, though, it's like Distronic Plus in that it's a very fancy cruise control system. So let's first set the system on, and now it's telling me the cruise is on, and then we can adjust the sensitivity like in all these systems, whether it's the Mercedes, the Audi, or the Lexus. So this button here, I can have most sensitivity, meaning like three car lengths, two car lengths, or one. In this case, let's try one, because I want to push this to the limit. And then let's set the speed at 65 miles an hour. So we're on a freeway here. Okay, so we got a little bit of a stride here, so let's give it a whirl. They said it's not an autonomous driving system, but you and I are scientific. So let's do this. Please don't try this at home. And notice it's keeping me in the lane. So it's very similar to the Distronic Plus system in that it keeps you in the lane. But watch what happens. It's starting to give me a warning chime, especially as we're about to go into a curve here. Can you hear the warnings now? It's different than when the system, the cruise was off. Still steering. Then the beeps get faster saying, hey, something's going on. And then it stops and it hits the brakes a little bit. Stops again. Now it sounds like the police is after me. But notice what's happening. The car itself is lowering the speed. Please don't try this at home. I got a lot of traffic far behind me. But again, it's bringing itself to a much slower speed. Hazards come on. I got a big truck behind me. Let's let the truck pass me here. So it's bringing the car to a complete stop. Now we put our foot into it, bring up the speed. So in essence, what the system is doing, it's saying, hey, we sense a problem. So let's err on the side of caution. Maybe the driver's not alert. Maybe that something happened to the driver. So let's bring the car down to a slower speed to understand what's going on. So it errs on the side of caution and safety rather than super whiz bang technology. Get it? Okay, so let's relax a little bit here and understand really what we've got. Uh, I agree with Nissan. It's not exactly a full on autonomous driving system, even though it's got the makings of it. It does some of the steering and keep you in the lane but it's not perfect. Uh, number two, this is a very unique warning system. I would argue better than what you see in some of the very fancy car systems in that someone really thought through how to get attention of the driver back to controlling the car, so bravo on that. And number three, this is the realization of whatever you want to call it, democratization of technology, in that four years ago we saw this on a very fancy car, and now here is for all intents and purposes, put aside that this is uh, electric propulsion. This is a B-segment car is what this is. So this would be like a, a Versa Note, uh, Toyota Yaris, that type of car. And there is technology that came from a $100,000 car now in 2017 going to 18 that actually works and has been updated and really optimized for the kind of driver that's going to own a vehicle like this. I think that's the biggest headline here of this system. And it's not just on the electric car because it's the whiz bang car. Uh, I spoke with one of the engineers, Owen, oh, great guy. And it turns out it's going to be this, the Rogue, which it's already on, and the Infiniti Q50.